You're half an hour late. I've been worried sick. Are you okay? You seem to be okay. <laughs> With the way you've just sauntered in here, all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. So ready to seize the day. How you have this much energy this early in the morning, I will never understand. If I didn't know you so well, I'd think you'd already had your coffee fix. Now you're noticing how packed out it is in here. I know, I'm sorry. See, if you'd gotten here at 7.15 like you always do, you wouldn't have to stand in such a long line. I wish I could wait in line for you. That's the kind of thing I would do if we were together. I would tell you to go sit down while I wait in line for the both of us. I would order your drink, just how you like it. Small black coffee, french roast. One vanilla latte for me. And then I'd meet you at the table by the window, where you would be waiting for me. That's your favorite place to sit, the table by the window. I'd hand you your coffee, and I'd hand you a cherry danish too, because I know you love the cherry danishes here. You ordered yourself one on your birthday, after all. <laughs> You'd say, thank you, amazed that I remembered something so small, so trivial. And I'd say, of course, because of course I remembered. I remember everything. Oh, you're first in line now. I can see your mouth sound out those four words I'm all too familiar with. Small French roast, please. <laughs> That's what I love about you. You always say please. Basic manners are becoming so rare nowadays. People hardly ever say please or thank you. I wonder why that is. Is it pride? Lack of respect? Or is it simply an overall moral decay in our culture? Hold on a second, are you, are you walking over here? You look lost. You're glancing around you like you're looking for something. Or someone. Are you meeting someone here? Okay, now you're walking right towards me. Should I be panicking? Do you know who I am? Do you know that I've been watching you? Are you about to confront me? I am sitting right by the trash can. Maybe you just need to throw something out. That seems more likely. N no, no, you're definitely walking up to me. You're opening your mouth to say something and you're... Who, me? Oh. Oh, yes, right, of course you can sit here. Absolutely. <laughs> I know, it's busy today. I've never seen them run out of seating. How am I only just now realizing that small French roast, please, are the only words I've ever heard you say? I've been robbed. You have a nice voice. I do. I do come here a lot. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've um, seen you a few times. You usually sit over by the window, is that right? Uh, yeah. Okay, I've seen you. <laughs> I'm usually studying over here in the back corner where it's quiet with my face buried in my books. I wouldn't expect you to notice me. <laughs> That's okay. So, um, what do you usually come here for? Uh, right, coffee. But then, do you work? Do you study? Do you mostly just hang out? Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm the same way. I, I need the change of scenery because I can't get anything done when I'm home. No, I live off campus, over on Elm. 
Yeah, by the bookstore. They have a cafe in there too, but I like it in here better. The bookstore is too quiet. It's impossible to concentrate when you can hear just like a couple of people talking. But when you have a crowd like this, everyone's conversations just sort of blend together into a low hum. Yeah, white noise or whatever, yeah. Plus, I like people watching. I feel like it gives me some perspective. Sometimes I get stuck in my own head and I need to be reminded that I'm just one of eight billion people sitting in a crowded place makes me feel small, I guess. Which I know isn't typically regarded as a good feeling, but I like it. It takes the pressure off. You know, there's actually a word for that. Sonder. The realization that each random passerby is living a life as vivid and complex as your own. I'm rambling, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm a psychology major, so yeah, I eat that stuff up. <laughs> I started taking those online personality quizzes when I was like seven years old. A total scam, by the way, and I've been hooked ever since. What about you? What are you studying? <laughs> Knew that. Oh, that's great. That was my old roommate's major. Yeah, she said it's pretty tough. She hardly got any sleep because of this one professor. Uh, what was his name? Holloway? No way you have him this semester. How are you surviving? Ah, hence your need for coffee. I get it. Well, yeah, I thought about being a psychiatrist at first, but I don't know if I could, like, deal with people's drama day after day. <laughs> so, I don't know. I might go for something simpler, maybe marketing. I, you're right, the pay is better, the hours are better. I just don't know if I could spend my life convincing people to buy things that they don't need. Oh, good point. I'd just be directing them to things they do need. I like that. Yeah, I'll keep telling myself that. Now, see, you just convinced me to go into marketing. You're marketing, marketing. I think you found your calling. <laughs> well, you're very persuasive. Oh, I think your drink is ready. They called your name. How do I know your name? Oh, I, um, shit, 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 I caught a glimpse of it on your cup while I was waiting in line once. Sorry, my eyes tend to wander. I'm not stalking you, I promise. <laughs> so, your drink is waiting. Uh, yeah, of course. You can come back and sit here as long as you'd like. <laughs> okay. Breathe, 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 breathe. And just like that, we're friends. And I didn't even have to force it. Was this fate? That you would arrive after 7.15 when the place is overcrowded and have no choice but to ask me to share my table? That sounds like fate to me. Is the universe finally on my side? I've never been so close to you before. Close enough to reach out and touch you. Close enough to smell your shampoo. Close enough to... How's that drink? Everything okay? <laughs> oh no, they got your order wrong? How on earth could they get it wrong? They should have it memorized by now. Uh, shit. Uh, well, uh, 
I don't know for a fact that you order a black coffee every time, but I feel like it's safe to assume that anyone who orders a black coffee probably doesn't switch it up very often. <laughs> hey, considering how expensive a cup of coffee is, I don't blame you for sticking with what you know you already like. I get a vanilla latte every single time, so far be it from me to judge. Hey, I can take it back for you if you want. I know, but I was actually thinking about getting a cherry danish, so I'll be getting in line anyway. I may as well reorder for you while I'm at it. Yeah, a cherry danish. Do you like cherry danishes? <laughs> well, how about we split one? Sure. Okay. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs>